Hello there, uh, this video is just to demonstrate uh, the use of CSS grid layouts for a thumbnail gallery. Um, CSS, I do believe CSS grid layouts will be the main thing for laying out web pages in the future, but this is just demonstrating one little uh, use case for it. So um, let me demonstrate the final product first uh, by using my final style sheet and then Okay, so here it is on the left. You'll see that the end result is you get a perfect gallery. Um, all these images are free stock photos from Pexels, by the way. Um, highly recommend it. Um, but yes, as you can see, uh, we don't have to care about what size screen the user has. If it's a mobile device, then they'll get that kind of thing. And if it's a big old desktop, then they can, like, I've run out of images. So um, they'll just it'll fill less screen. Um, you can wrap other content around it, but you can imagine this is just one tiny partial or part of a page. So um, let me just take you through the evolution of what I would have originally done before grid layouts and then until I got here. Um, so the, if you were to try and simulate your, the, this yourself, you might just go down this uh, area of using a float. Uh, let me take you through the HTML first. So um, as you can see, it's just the semantics of the content. I'm for, it's focusing absolutely nowhere on using divs for layout, right? It's just like, it's a grid of pictures, uh, which is great. You know, no divs within divs within divs within divs. Um, so if you did this with just a float left, you would get this sort of thing. Uh, it kind of works in that the page will wrap and uh, it will fill a whole desktop, but you see this ugly white space here and it doesn't resize the images themselves to try and gracefully fill it up and it's not centered or anything like this. So I'm sure you could probably put a few hacks in to make it better, but yeah, as you can see, it works like that. Um, so then you might move on to part two, which is, you might have used this instead. You use an inline block for the images, but you have to specify the width of height of the images now. And we wanted a margin, so we went with that um, the margin of 1 em. Now you've got your margin, and just like the float, um, it fills, but like like before, uh, you got this ugly white space and nothing centered. So you read about CSS grids and you come up with style three. Uh, so here we are using a three column grid, um, and we're gonna justify it with a gap. So. The result is we got three columns, which works okay on this size screen. And you might create media queries to get like a two column and a one column maybe. Um, but that's still not as good as what uh, the final result we've come up with. Um, as you can see, it's still centered, and, which is okay. And there's lots of white space. So the final result that you want is style four, which is actually, you don't actually need this, but I'm just resetting the body. Um, we're using grid, and this is the key thing. We're using um, min max. So this is the minimum uh, possible space, and then the maximum is one fraction of the page. And I'll just create as many columns as it needs, and it'll still center it, and I've created a grid gap. This was because, for some reason, all right, I'll show you. Um, not did I not save the four? So, I don't know why, I'll have to look into it, but I found that I would set a gap on the columns, but not the rows. If I set that, then I, that's not what I want. I don't know what's going on there, I'll have to look into it. But as you can see, I got my nice little margin. And the, the really cool thing is the images will resize themselves. I set the image width to 100%, um, so that they always take up the full screen, which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, um, I hope that helps. I'm sure that I will probably use this again. Um, and yeah, hopefully this will be helpful to someone else. It, it's fantastic to be able to write HTML that's just the, the semantics. I uh, don't, don't know if that's the right word, but I'm not using divs just to lay things out. Um, yeah, now catch you later.